Hi everyone, these are the new uh, seed style pixels, I guess you call them. Um, they came from a uh, Chinese company that was sent over as a sample to me. So thank you very much to them. I'll put the uh, name of the company in the description because I don't want to uh, murder their name by trying to pronounce it. Um, so they've got a very definite front and back. You can see if I hold that sideways, that's the front of it there and that's the back edge there. Um, the epoxy sort of bulges out more on the front edge and it is brighter from the front than the back. They do still put out some light from the back um, but it's mostly from the front. But it's not a total shadow so I'll just turn those on. Now I've got the current meter in series. This is a, a string of 50 that I've chopped off the uh, roll they sent me. So as you can see that string of 50 is uh, pulling pretty much at one amp. So that equates to 20 milliamps per LED or per pixel. Uh, there, there's a few that you can see. That's actually part of the roll. Those, those few that aren't lit up, they're not faulty. So, so that's drawing about an amp. Let's get that there. And if I change colours, now this is two colours on. So these couple of colours. So it drops to about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of an amp. So those three there are all just two colours on, various colours there. And then that's just the single colour. So single colour drops into about 450 to 500 milliamps roughly, um, depending on the colour. So about 450 milliamps there. So it's not three times the current when it's on white. Uh, that's probably just due to losses in the cabling there, but that's fine. It still looks very good. And when you um, have got it on full white, you don't need it three times the brightness anyway, so that's fine. So you can see there, it actually shows it up quite well. You can see here, that's brighter. I mean, it's still washed out on the camera, but you can sort of see sort of see there's a different front and back, but you can see some light from the back. So they probably might not be suitable for a miniature tree where the uh, cables are just strung out and they can twist in the wind or, you know, just twist around by themselves. You might have to put them on a backing or something. I'm not sure how you'd do that. Um, so it's yet to be determined exactly which applications these would be good for. So uh, they're just uh, 2811 style uh, pixels, so that's the end of the run there that I've just chopped off from the larger roll they sent me. So um, they look quite good. I'll just um, go back to see if we can get some patterns going. There we go. So all individually addressable, like I said, 2811 style, they're 5 volt. Um, so that one's there that's averaging about 0.6 of an amp there, because it's got various colours on. So. They're very good looking, they're uh, a very nice sort of point of light, um, but not too dotty. Sort of just that right amount of diffusion on them, so they look quite nice. So like I said, the only issue was going to be, depending on your application, if they're on a like a tree or whatever you can see there, I've got one facing the right way, I'll just see if I can grab this, and one the wrong way. There's a fair sort of colour you know, or brightness difference there. There you go, sideways, they're even. You can see a definite front and back to them. So if they were sort of half twisted around on a tree, I'm not sure, it still may look okay, I, I don't know. But having the points of light at quite different uh, brightness levels could be a problem, not sure yet. So I have to string some out and, uh, and st you probably couldn't rely on them sitting straight enough just with no support on there. So they may have to go on a little backing strip. Um, possibly packing tape or something like that. You may be able to make something here that they thread in and out of. Just use a hole punch and, and you know, poke these through or zip tie them to them every, every so often. Not sure yet on that. So they're quite neat. A um, lot smaller, obviously, than a regular pixel. The wiring's, you know, quite good for its size. That's a group of 50 there that I'm just running. In, like I said, that was one amp. Uh, the whole roll that I was sent was 200 pixels, and I did try just to see what would happen powering it from one end and it did not like it very well at all so obviously there's way too much voltage drop uh, over the length of 200 pixels it probably stopped about halfway in so you could probably get half um, or that you could probably get 200 maybe if you power injected at the beginning middle and end or 100 if you just went beginning and end uh, or 50 definitely if you could just go from one end that's fine. So uh, I haven't actually measured the voltage at the far end, but 
brightness wise when I played around with the voltage feeding it and uh, ran it up and down they all seem to drop out at very much the same point so it seems to be quite okay to just to feed it at one end if there's only 50 uh, more than 50 and uh, you know get, once you get to probably 70 to 100 then you really need to power from both ends so it will power inject regularly along the line if you're going for uh, much longer runs so anyway so I'd uh, give you a quick look at that and uh, I'll provide some more info in the description. Thanks for watching.